When we're growing crops out in our fields, we walk those crops to see what's working and what isn't. As you go across the field, there's areas that are prospering more than others. And it always makes me wonder, what is shaping the sort of small environment that that plant is in that it looks successful while its neighboring plants are not? This is exactly the sort of question Indigo is addressing. It's a common conversation when you're talking with other farmers about their crops and what they're seeing out there. And then we go through the story of the microbiome. They go, aha, that probably is going on in my farm as well. Indigo is out there saying what made that plant survive. With focus sourcing, what we're doing scientifically is allowing nature to teach us how microbes positively impact the performance of plants. Millions of plants have been gathering microbes from the soil and then have been exposed to stresses from which a few plants are extraordinary survivors. And our hypothesis is the big plants have already solved the problem of stress by pulling microbes out of the soil and adding them to their microbiome to improve growth. So we've got some spots out here that look like they're showing uh some form of deficiency. So the idea is to take directly from these plants that have succeeded in solving the stress and identify the microbes from those plants and add them back to the plants to improve yields. The ideal situation is when you have two that are very close together and you have one that's chlorotic and one that looks really nice and green and healthy. The hypothesis is that for these plants that are performing well, despite being in this nutrient deficient soil, it could be a microbe that's actually imparting that benefit on those plants. Each of the plant samples we collect from the field harbors thousands of unique microbes. The focus sourcing team aims to isolate and identify as many diverse microbes as possible. A sample of that is sent for DNA sequencing and when we understand the microbes that are there in higher abundance in these bigger plants, then we are able to then target the isolation of those specific microbes. We then use all of that information to say we are nominating these particular microbes to advance to the next stage in our pipeline. And then ultimately they go to the field trials to see what the effect is back in the field. And the result of that would be a seed coating that we are then able to sell as a product that can go back to that grower. What we actually see is that the microbes allow the plants to have longer roots, also a more complex root structure, which allow the plant to be able to take up nutrients and water and be able to combat all the stresses it will actually see in the field. Thus far, we've seen yield improvements in every crop that we've applied focus sourcing. That includes corn, soy, wheat, cotton, and rice. What we would like to achieve with our microbial sourcing program is to have a library of microbes that allow each farmer's field to be optimized to produce the best crop possible. Imagine what it might be like if every plant that you put into your field had the benefit of the microbes that those extraordinary ones do. And from the start of their growth, they had the same advantages of microbial partnerships that help protect them from stress throughout the whole season. We'll be able to grow more food on less acres. We're gonna be able to make farmers have a more comfortable income. We're gonna gain the trust of the consumer that the food that is being produced is safe for them. And do so potentially in every geography and every crop. We believe over time that the major food and feed companies are going to be looking for systems and treatments and processes that get closer to the consumer's demand and Indigo delivers on all of those aspects.